When we moved into our house almost 20 years ago, there was a tree on the property, a big red oak tree. Probably the most majestic tree in the entire development. Unfortunately, due to the way that the developer had graded the land to build the homes, there were some boulders that were constricting the roots of the tree. We've been working with an arborist to keep the tree alive, but finally this summer it became clear that it was time to take the tree down. We didn't think it made sense to completely eradicate the memory of such a beautiful tree. We wanted it to live on somehow. So we contacted a local artist and engaged him to carve something out of the trunk of the tree, which we left standing, and then he got to work. We selected a specific model for the sculpture. He took plenty of pictures, made some plans, and then set up scaffolding around the trunk so that he could start carving it with chainsaws. Shortly after work began, the overall design quickly became obvious. But of course, as they say, the devil is in details, and it took quite a bit of time to finish all those little details. Overall, about a month from start to finish. He wasn't working every day, of course. If it rained, he couldn't work on it. But he set up some lights so that he could work after it got dark. Once the detail work was done, all that was left was the staining. We also added some landscape lighting to highlight the sculpture at night. Marty Long, the sculptor, did one heck of a job. I'm really happy with the way that it turned out.